Questions will be entertained during the open forum after all the presentations. Don't forget to share your photos and takeaways by using hashtag PILF2019. The speakers for this panel are Ms. Honey De Peralta, Ms. KB Menyado, Ms. Life Ocampo, and Ms. Beverly C. Ms. Honey De Peralta is a reader. Because of this, she was a high school English teacher, a high school math teacher, a national teacher trainer, a textbook editor, project manager and educational app product developer, an ebook publisher and head of a local ebook company, a general manager of the digital arm of textbook publisher, a book blogger, a serial book club member, and the co-founder of the Filipino Reader Con. And currently, she works in sales for the largest English language trade book publisher in the world. Ms. Beverly C. ay isang manunulat Tagasalin at copyright advocate, nagtapos siya ng BA Malikha ang pagsulat sa Filipino sa UP Diliman bilang cum laude. Nag-aral din siya ng panitikang Filipino sa nasabing universidad. Aktibo si Bebang sa larangan ng publishing. Isa siya sa mga book champion at intellectual property ambassador awards ng uh, property ambassador ng ating bansa noong 2015. Dalawa sa kanyang mga aklat ay naging finalist sa National Book Awards para sa mga kategoryang Sanaysay at Antolohiya. Ang kanyang It's a Men's World ay, pun ay nagkamit ng Filipino Reader's Choice Awards noong 2012 para sa kategoryang Sanaysay. Puntahan ang kanyang blog na babeangblogspot.com para sa latest writing tips. Life Ocampo is a 19-year-old page traveler that sails through the sea of words and conquers the lands of, to of stories. She's pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Architecture at Mapua University and is currently working as a junior interior designer. Books and arts have been a big part of her life. She, she keeps inspired by her friends from her art group, Rubetsin Arts Parasite. And as a bibliophile, she, sur she surrounds herself with like-minded individuals who share her love for books with organizations such as the Book Club Philippines and co-founding a community of local book bloggers called the Filipino Booktubers Organization. And finally, the session will be moderated by Ms. K.B. Menyado. K.B. Menyado is the founder of BookBed, a community that advocates for reading and, final and Filipino creators. Her work experience includes 20, pl 20 plus years of acquiring reading, acquiring reading and distributing books, and a combined 10 years in media and government. She holds an undergraduate degree in journalism and a master's degree in public administration from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. So I will now turn over the session to Ms. K.B. Menyado. Hello. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Uh, Ay, hindi magandang hapon. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Okay, good afternoon because I think we have um, non-Filipinos inside who cannot speak the language, so I have to speak in English. So, this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> um, bear with me, please. So, first of all, I want to thank everyone out of the three sessions you chose to be here. We don't know why, but we'll make sure it will be worth it. Um, I'm KB again, and we're going to talk about essentially social media and books and reading. So who here has no social media at all? Diba? It seems impossible. Wow, Filipino accent in English. <laughs> it seems impossible. So um, everyone, uh, most of us, I think, are influenced heavily about uh, by what we see online, right? So that's the same for us, for Honey, for Miss Bebang, for Life, and for me. There is no one way that we can, um, there, there is no set of standards or rules or anything like that on how to use social media or how to even read. So I think it's safe to say that kahit ngayon pa lang, at this early point, we're going to have to say that we don't have the answers. Like, let's just have, fu let's just have fun. <laughs> so let's just have fun, guys. I mean, alam ko naka formal yung iba dito, and I'm in my sneakers, gold, <laughs> good old sneakers. But come on, guys, let's just have fun and 
hopefully may matutunan kayo. So the first speaker for this panel is going to be Life Ocampo. She's from Book Club Philippines and she's going to talk about her personal experiences in Bookstagram and Booktube. Let's give her a hand off. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon po. I'm live. And when I first saw the crowd, I think, I think I may be the youngest in the room. No. <laughs> so, tito and tita, at then kuya, the challenge for me is, paano nga ba na-engage yung mga young readers like me ng social media and reading? So, my topic will be about... The three new things I tried in the past six months in nine minutes. So, paano nga po ba ako nag-start? So, nung December, I was actually, bata po po ako mahilig na talaga ako magbasa. Pero, siguro introvert lang talaga ako or antisocial lang talaga ako. Pero, hindi po ako into social events. Hindi ako masyadong nagsishare ng mga experiences ko kasi naisip ko, wala naman akong pagsishareran. Wala naman akong close friends na into reading like me. So, nung December, nag-start po akong mag-explore sa, sa internet kung saan ba ako pwedeng humanap ng community na pwede kong i-share yung thoughts and experiences ko. So, I found Bookstagram, Booktube, and Book Clubs last December. So, Bookstagram. Bookstagram is a platform for reviewing and recommending books by combining the visual aspect of reading and giving readers a space to create a conversation about what they were reading. So, alam nyo naman po yung Instagram. Yes. So, Instagram is an application po where we share photos. And so, Bookstagram, we share photos of books. Yun lang po yun. And marami po nung nagagawa sa Bookstagram. So it's very interesting. Book tags. So, ang book tags po is a way for Bookstagrammers to share challenges and activities using a hashtag. So sa hashtags natin, like for example, last five books. May kita nyo sa caption ng picture niya. The last five books you've read. So for me, Parang, pag nakita ko ng title dyan na, oh, interesting yung title na to. I will look for it. And then, interested na rin akong basahin siya. So, kahit ganun kasimple lang, makita ko lang na, oh, pinasa niya yun. And may trust ako sa taste nung tao na yun na, ay, mukhang maganda yung libro kasi pinasa ni ganito, pinasa ni ganyan. And, eto po, my life in books. So, meron tayong mga activities, like, for example, sa Bookstagram nga, na, Sa caption, for example, my name is Life, and I will spell my name using titles of books. So yung mga ganong simpleng activities lang po, they engage me into titles that I've never heard of before. And marami pa pong hashtags na super nakakatulong para ma-explore ng mga millennials yung mga books na hindi pa namin na-read and yung mga dapat po namin basahin. So, another hashtag is the question of the day. So, super random ng mga QOTDs natin for Bookstagram. Minsan, tatanong lang nila, what did you eat for lunch today? Minsan naman, super deep, like, which body part do you wish you could detach and why? Minsan naman po, super simple lang. Who's your favorite author? And minsan naman, what fictional character is amazing in their book, show, movie, but would be insufferable if you had to deal with them in mundane everyday situations? So, sa mga ganyang questions po, hindi ba parang super interesting din sa atin yung mga, o oh nga no, if yung character na to hindi ko pa naririnig, syempre, search ko siya. Kasi ganun nakalawak yung internet ngayon. So, isa-search ko siya, then malalaman ko, then interested na ako. Then, ayun, makaka-explore na rin po ako ng bagong book or literature na hindi ko pa nababasa before. So, 
in Bookstagram, a lot of users also do giveaways. So, yung mga giveaways na to, iba-iba po yung range niya. Minsan, ang pinag-giveaway nila is books. Minsan, book-related items like bookmarks or book merchandise. And usually, giveaways are ginagawa kapag ka nakareach sila ng certain milestone or goal nila sa follower count nila sa Bookstagram. So to sum it all up, ang Bookstagram po for me is a platform where I can find friends and they can suggest things to me that I've never heard of, I've read of before. Then the next thing I've tried after I explored Bookstagram is nahanap ko po ang Booktube. So, you're all familiar with YouTube, right? So, YouTube is a platform where we share videos naman. So, kung ang Bookstagram photos, ang Booktube po is videos naman. So, I have friends from Bookstagram that are also active on Booktube. So, on Booktube po, we share our experiences, our reviews, and various activities that are related to books as well. So, ayan po. For example, book reviews. Usually, they're spoiler-free. So, if meron akong gustong basahin na libro pero nag-aalang ano, kasi baka hindi ko naman magustuhan or hindi naman siya yung type ng genre na gusto ko. So, I will look for it. Baka may nag-review na na booktuber. Then, I will watch it muna. Magugustuhan ko ba to? Or minsan naman, interested lang talaga ako dun sa booktuber that whenever they post a video na review, I watch it and then bigla na lang, ay gusto ko tong basahin. Mukhang maganda. Kasi sabi niya, ganito eh. So, Yung book reviews po, nauhook din yung mga tao into reading books because nalam na nila kung ano yung i-expect nila from that book dahil yun yung sinabi ng booktuber sa video na yun. And there are monthly wrap-ups as well where booktubers review all the books they've read in a month. So, for example, this month I've read four books. I will review all of that books in one video and then kung ano yung interesting sa inyo, then you can read it as well. And then, of course, there are book hauls. So, sobrang guilty po namin into buying so many books na for sure hindi naman namin mababasa in one month or hindi namin mababasa agad. Meron akong books na binili from last last year na hindi ko pa rin nababasa. Merong mga books na natatambak lang in bags, boxes, pero hindi ko pa rin nababasa. Pero pag nakita kayo ng book sale, syempre, sugod kayo. Kasi syempre, malaki na yung discount na yun eh. Sa mga ganitong book hauls po, nagiging interested yung mga tao. Kasi, unang-una, steal yung price na nakuha nila kapag sale nila nakuha. Kapag book haul, malalaman niyo yung mga titles na, uy, meron pala nito sa bookstore na ganito. Doon ko pala siya pwedeng makuha. Doon pala niya nakuha yung copy niya ng ganito. And minsan may mga sinaswerte sa book hall na nakakuha sila ng mga ibang edition, signed copies. And nakakatuwa na mapapanood mo sa kanila na ay nakakuha sila ng ganun no? Doon pala ako pupunta para makakuha din ako ng ganun. So nakakahook po talaga yung mga books, halls and reviews na mapapanood natin sa booktube. And the last thing po that I've tried is joining book clubs. So... Hindi ako masyadong active member, but I'm an act but I'm a member of Book Club Philippines. So, ano po bang ginagawa sa mga online book clubs or sa mga book clubs na hindi naman kayo masyadong nakikita pero sa social media lang kayo nagkakausap. So, there are readathons. So, a readathon for those of you that might be confused is an event usually with a time limit where you set a certain goal you would like to reach. The goal of readathons is to help you read more during that time period than you would any other time. So usually, yung mga readathon na ganyan, may mga tema po yan. Like Asian readathon, lahat ng Asian authors lang yung babasahin namin. Parang ganun po. And syempre, ikaw, na member ng book club, parang, oh nga no, bakit ako hindi sasali? Meron na akong opportunity na mag-share nung thoughts ko about this book or meron na akong opportunity na i-share yung memory ng pagbabasa ko with my online friends. And we also have Book of the Month where we set a theme and a book will be selected each month for the members to read. By the end of the month, there will be an online discussion. This is my favorite part of having a book club po. 
yung merong discussion about the book that you've all read. Kasi syempre, katulad nga po nung sinabi ko kanina, hindi naman po ako masyadong into social events. So, mahiyain po ako in person. Hindi ko nga rin po alam ba't ako nandito sa harap. Pero mahiyain po kasi ako. Kaya, mas gusto ko po na online na lang kakausapin yung mga friends kasi sobrang awkward ko kapag in person. So, yung mga ganyang discussions, at least meron akong mga friends na nanapagsasharean ko or nakakausap ko tungkol dun sa book na nabasa namin lahat. And usually, yung mga book clubs po, meron silang exclusive give games and giveaways na for the members only. Which is also interesting, katulad po ng books, fine poetry, where you use the titles or the spines of the book to create poetry, which is nakakapag-practice na kayo ng creativity, na-explore nyo pa yung mga books na pwede nyo basahin to it. Then next, this is a new organization. We founded it noong February lang po. So, this is the Philborgs, the Filipino Booktubers Organization. So, hindi pa po kasi ganun kasi kat yung booktube dito sa atin. So, katulad nga po nung sinabi ko kanina, booktube is a community where we post videos about books that we think might engage some readers into reading. We turn our viewers into readers. So, iba-iba po ang ginagawa ng Philborgs. Meron kaming book tags, katulad ng usual booktube, book reviews and everything. May book of the month din po. And yung book of the month namin, we make sure to post a book review on our booktube channels after we've read the book of the month. So, bukod po sa Naka, nagkakaroon na kayo ng social community meron pa kayong chance na magkaroon, mag-share ng mga interests nyo to other people through the use of YouTube and yun lang po through Instagram and YouTube and Facebook where we communicate yung mga book clubs po namin with social media marami po akong natutunan and bagong na-try because of it So, katulad ng Instagram, hindi ko naman siguro malalaman na may booktube pala kung hindi ako nag-bookstagram. Kasi doon ko lang rin naman nalaman. Hindi ko naman malalaman na, ay, may book signing pala nung kailan. Kasi nakita ko siya sa hashtag nung kaibigan ko sa bookstagram. So, with the use of social media, mapapakalat po natin na ganito kasaya sa reading community. Ganito kasaya magbasa. Hindi siya boring, hindi siya para sa nerd. Masaya magbasa. So, hindi porket nagbabasa ako, loner ako. I have friends. So, ayun po. Through the use of social media, the people are aware that these are the things you can do and these are things you can gain from reading. Yun lang po. Thank you, Lai. Hello? Hello? Yeah. There you go. I'm not used to holding mics kasi, kaya... Parang awkward. Ayan. Walang ako na ng bosses ko eh. So, mas comfortable ako na I'm more comfortable speaking without the mic because my voice is loud. And thank you very much, guys, for that. It's such a concise introduction to what you can do on social media. So, you can be a booktuber, you can be a Instagrammer, you can be a simple leader. Just you know, working around the hashtag. So, okay lang din yun. Kasi ganun din ako. Kaya ko pa sabi.
I just want to say that we can call this Bring Me, Bring Me to Life. I guess in life you life will give the the item to 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 bring <laughs> Sticker. One, two, come on, run! Three, yeah! <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Joy! Yan. Tingnan nyo naman yung mukha niya, pure Joy. So there's, may one more winner pa tayo, kaya, you know, guys, open your bags and stuff. Naku, Ma'am Kelly, prepare ka yung pinakamalapit. Ano ba yan? Sige na. <laughs> Sige, next, next, bring me. So, thank you for sharing your time with us. Bring me a watch. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Guys, don't worry, meron pa. Meron pa, okay? So, everybody has a chance still. Thank you so much for exercising and running towards the panel. <laughs> And we hope you enjoy the book that you got. So, surprise or non-surprise, I will be the next speaker. <laughs> so, um, let me just take a deep breath because I'm really nervous. So, uh, Good afternoon, guys. My topic for today is why I read how I read. Is my sharing getting in the way of my reading? Can anybody relate to that? Raise your hand and say book sale. Book sale. <laughs> so everybody can relate to that. Next slide, please. So, of course, I have to introduce myself first. Thank you, by the way, <laughs> to my friend who clapped. <laughs> So, <laughs> um, I am a reader first and foremost. I'm also a creator and I'm a supporter of Filipino Dreamers, which means you, 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 everybody here. And that picture, see, I'm so photogenic, right? And those aren't my books. <laughs> um, this was taken at a book sale in Davao because that's where I'm from. And, you know, I'm just that type of person who just puts the camera there and just take pictures of myself with books. So, Come on, wag kayo magsinungaling. Ginagawa nyo rin yun eh. <laughs> so this is my social media, by the way. So you can find me. Wow, shameless. Grabe. Eto, <laughs> at Hey Kebe. So next slide, please. I was six when I first um, fell in love with reading. So I'm still in love, but that was the first time. So I, I was very blessed because um, not everybody have access to books or reading. Like th They don't have the time to enjoy. They don't have the funds. So I was very blessed. And... And I'm, I'm so like grateful for that privilege. So the first books that I read were um, Nido Giveaways. Naalala nyo pa ba yung mga... Uy! Nakita ko na yung mga kaedad ko. <laughs> um, before, para dun sa mga young at young at heart, before the Nido Milk Gatas, meron silang mga pamphlets, activity books, fairy tales. So those were my, my first... You know, I, I treasure them so much that I've... I still have them. These are all my books, actual pictures taken May 29, 2019. So they still exist. So this was my very first book. It was gifted to me. So I still have it and I still read it from time to time just to take me back to that first time when I realized that there was magic in stories. Next slide. So uh, I was born and um, I, I live again in Davao. So, sana walang fist bump in the air. <laughs> Kasi usually, yun ang bati sa akin lagi. So, I, I, I get my books from, um, from very generous minang. So, wala akong control of what I read. Like, whatever they give me. Oh, Nancy Drew, magbasa ka. Okay, magbasa, ganyan, ganyan. And then, there was this old bookshop. Ngayon, art shop na siya. So, dito ako bumibili. Kung ano lang meron doon. O, 10 pesos, ma, bilhan mo na ako. Babysitter's Club, ganyan-ganyan. Sweet Valley. So, 
eto, 2017, they've, <laughs> they've closed down. They've become art shop. And when, when I went there, I was like, I was sad because, wow, ano, napalitan? Bakit? Why can't we have both? Why can't we have nice things? Like all the nice things, diba? We deserve everything sana. Pero, <laughs> pero to me, parang kung this means that, parang foresight na yun, or projection na, when you read, you will create, right? Wow, epiphany. Love it. <laughs> Meron <laughs> mero tumatangutang sa likod. Next slide. So here is a very inaccurate graph of my reading performance <laughs> over the past 20 years. Kasi nga, di ba, talk ito. Kailangan may data ako. Presented in a graph. So, <laughs> so I started reading in 1995. So I was six. Kayo na gumawa ng math. Uh, so it uh, as as the years went by, so shempre wow, grabe books, I love it. My parents, si mama at si papa, so go buy, 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 and then social media happened. There's the decline. What happened? Nag YouTube ako. <laughs> no, seriously though, at that time I was I was working full time and I was also earning my degree, my master's degree. So nag decline siya, but I will also show you why that happened to me personally. So in 2011, I read 134 books. I'm so proud of this because this is peak. Ko eh. <laughs> this is my peak. Like I will put this in my resume. Alam niyo yun? <laughs> Last year, I finished 100. But I don't care if you read one book for the year. You know that? Because the important thing is that you read. And then it doesn't have to be a book like per se. You can read comics. You can read that. That yung pinapaypay nyo po. That's reading. <laughs> you still learn from that. It entertains you now. It serves you. Tama po, di ba, Miss Kelly? <laughs> Favorite ko si Miss Kelly kasi siya lang yung nababasa kong ano, name tag. <laughs> Next slide. And then, um, eto, my first book club. So, when I was elementary, obsessed ako sa Babysitter's Club. Anybody here a BSC fan? Oh my gosh, nobody. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm a very uh, no ha, para magisa lang ako. So we <laughs> we created our our own Davo chapter. It was so ridiculous that it was so awesome. Kasi magbabark. The story is the Babysitters Club as it is. So we also made my friends and I. We were because I shared to them my books. Tapos nagbasa din sa nagustuhan nila. Tapos para kami mga ewan. Pumunta kami sa bahay ng friend ko. Gumawa ng flyers. Nagpamod-mod sa neighborhood, tapos babysitters daw kami. At nine years old, I cannot. Parang ang ridiculous ng concept ngayon. Pero looking back, that was so amazing kasi books made me do that. Books made us do that. And then, I don't know if familiar kayo sa Brotherhood of Wings. Nobody here reads Tagalog pocket books, romance pocket books, or wala lang akong batchmates. So, the irony is, ito ay sobrang, pwede bang, well, X-rated. So, <laughs> very explicit yung mga sex scenes. So, in the middle of my advanced chem, kasi surprisingly, I was a math and science scholar in high school. In the middle of my advanced chem, nagbabasa kami doon, ko, oh my God, ano daw to? Ano, ano to? So, <laughs> nagbabasa kami lahat nun. And then we formed, kasi brotherhood of wings yun, we formed our own sisterhood of wings. So, feeling era kami na, ewan ko ba? Alam niyo yun? <laughs> Minsan, di ba, magbabasa kayo ng libro, tapos parang, gusto mong maging ikaw yun. Parang ganun. Tapos, when I was in college, almost graduating, I was delayed. Pero okay lang yun. It's cool. It's fine. Tapos na. <laughs> I was at shopping center because I, I went to school in UP. I was shopping center, tapos nag, uh, I was browsing, and I found Goodreads. Sino ang nasa Goodreads dito? Proudly. <laughs> Proud. Wow, si Ma'am Nenny. I love it. <laughs> um, it's a good read. It's a, it's a website full of books and you can track everything there, what you want to read, what you are currently reading, what you've read and everything. So as you can see, I still use it from 2011. See, I have proof, no? 134. Blurred lang. Kasi bakat ganito? Bakat blurred? <laughs> So I, I finished 134. So every year I set I set a reading goal for myself. So maybe that's how you can also like challenge yourself to read more books and more regularly. So that was my first book club. I didn't know anybody. I knew that Filipino book bloggers exist, right? Because they they were they were on Goodreads, 
but I didn't know anyone and there wasn't really much interaction but I was happy to be there next next slide in 2010 um, if anybody remem remembers sulit.com.ph that was the Shopee of my time the Lazada of my time like everybody was on there just browsing all the catalogs and I bought and sold my my books there because um nagkatrabaho kasi ako noon alam mo na feeling mo marami kang pera bili 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 uh, i can afford this okay fine bibilin ko so um that that was when i created my my community but i'll get to that later just remember it <laughs> Um, I also was part of this forum called the Read Philippines. It's still up. It's still live. The website is still live. We talk there about um, books, basically. Alam mo yung mga bookworms lang na just la 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 la, happy lang to talk about books. And most of the people there were from Multiply.com. Remember that? Multiply. Lahat ng mga angles na mukha mo, in-upload mo. So, and also Tumblr, the hipster social media kuno. So um, here, I I was able to like uh, build my first group of like reading buddies. So one of them is actually here. Uh, she's she's there, Alana. Hello. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's very shy, as like you know most people here because we're all readers. So that that's the those were the next book clubs that. I was part of next so in 2014 so this is uh, this is my I founded this um, I don't know how I did <laughs> but I did and we we buy we sell we trade books we read books we review them we feature them we try to promote Filipino authors as much as we can uh, we blog we vlog we lahat na napaka ambitious talaga namin so here are our social media handles. Paki take na ng photos para i follow nyo kami. <laughs> para i follow nyo, i follow nyo kami. So that's what we do. We also have we we don't just have the online interaction. We also have we tr we also try to have face to face activities. Next slide, please. Here are some of the things that we do. So uh, we attend events and then we review these books. Uh, sometimes authors uh, send them to us out of their own, you know, just I want ko, I want ko ba sila nagpapadala, but they do. And we're so very grateful because we love the books. And um, we have meetups, we have book exchanges, we have like simple kwento kwento lang. And then we we also have posts that aren't really necessarily um, straightforward. Yung parang hindi siya reading as it is. Kunyari, we have, if you like makeup, we have a column on our website that talks about makeup, but you create looks based on book covers, if that makes sense. Tama ba? Okay po. Thank you po sa pagnod nyo. <laughs> it keeps me going. <laughs> Tapos, um, we next slide please. So here are some of the people and groups and brands that we've worked with. Um, we uh, we have Adarna House. We have Romance Class. Romance Class has a session tomorrow at 4:20 p.m. If you wanna check that out, they're self-published uh, romance writers in English. They're very cool. So <laughs> you should check it out. And we also work with the Storytelling Project, um, also Media When in Manila. So so many people, Bookworms Unite PH, they read mostly young adult literature. We And recently, I've also, of course, obviously, I also work with National Book Development Board. So we also take part in their activities. So next slide. Here are some of the people, you know, on social media, you meet so many people, right? And I only have like very limited space and time to to actually share them all with you. But here are some people that you might you might know or you might want to check out on BookTube and Instagram. I think it's not very high res, so you cannot see. But I'll make this presentation available, and you can always visit our website to check out these people. Next slide. So what else do I do aside from 
aside from my community. So um, my my personal part, and uh, I I I ko, by by some sort of miracle na isipan ko na mag book journal <laughs> miracle because I'm not really a trained artist or anything like that. I just like to read and yung creator part then is I like I like to write so not necessarily create things so this this really pushed me or challenged me to to just spread my wings so when I read I, I draw parts of the book and then post it online I also do bookish projects which means like anything I well, what do I do? <laughs> Sometimes I I paint my nails based on book covers. So nail polish, right? So you look at the cover, for example, can you... <laughs> so kunyari yan, di ba? Yung colors yan, blue, brown, so yan, red, black. So gagawa ko ng nail art based on that. And then I also have, I paint canvas bags, which later I will give some away, so watch out for that. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Napaka shameless talaga. <laughs> and then, also on social media, I try to um, I try to extend my help to other creators who need, I don't know, like just a second, like fresh eyes to, to read their work. So I do better reading and also I write some fake that, you know, I just never finish. I don't know why, but... <laughs> That's what I do on social media. So this is how I do it. Um, I think some of you here are attending because you want to start, I guess. Like you, you, you want to explore that side of uh, the online or like the the uh, your book. What do you call this? Like reading. So this is how I do it. You explore. I know. Hashtag no excuses. I mean. Lahat, may excuse ako for anything. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure kayo din. But no excuses because I, I believe that if you really want to do something, you make time for it. You know, Bookbed is volunteer based. That means we, we receive no profit from what we do. And I still love it. Like it's been, what? It's been 10 years. 10 years? Hindi ba? OA. <laughs> 9 years, almost 9 years because we're turning 10 this year. I still love it. I still enjoy it. Even though we're not that consistent. Because when you do something that you love, you always make time for it, right? You create the time to do it. So I put there no excuses. You explore. You 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 buy buy a book there sa sa mini fair natin, and then you read that, and then you talk about it. Doesn't necessarily mean na may kausap ka, but just talk about it, ba? Sa Twitter, set up ka ng Twitter mo, usap usap kay ng sarili mo, gawa ka ng isa. It's it's an exercise of the mind, de ba? Gawa ka sa Twitter, gawa ka sa Twitter ako. Magpusap yung <laughs> dalawa yung dalawa mong personality. And then I think what we do on book, that is how we relate it to everyday things. So it's more so. Parang how can I phrase this more efficiently? For example, if you like sports, you you write the like you write about books the way you would think about sports so you use metaphorical things like that tama ba parang hindi na kayo naniniwala sa akin eh parang ano na bang sinasabi but i i think you you get this eh because when when it's relatable to you that's how that's how you connect with it eh right and then you highlight relevant issues especially books books aren't just for entertainment tama Ma'am Kelly, okay pa po kayo. <laughs> so, highlight relevant issues. If a, if a book is talking about the drug war or alopecia or anything like that, especially if you think that people don't know about the issues, you must take the time to like look at it, research, kasi ayaw natin mag-release ng hashtag fake news. So, research. And then, just highlight that so that people will get to pick up on it and maybe also read about it. And also challenge yourself. Me, I'm a very like voracious young adult reader and romance. So I don't and children's books. So I don't really get to read a lot of literary and sci-fi and whatever other genre. So from time to time, you you can you can you know tweak your book preferences and maybe you can learn something about yourself. Then, right, Ryan? Are you still following, right? Okay, <laughs> and most important of all, you encourage others because I know that reading is a solitary activity, but how can we spread the magic if it's gonna stay within you? So, 
by encouraging others you you share you share the dream you share you share the the knowledge like that i was trying to find i was just trying to say something like very life altering but i came up with nothing <laughs> That's right. so here are my eto na tagay sikreto this is what you're here for uh yun on social media you retweet people you share about their work a simple retweet goes a long long way like i i get my beta reading um gigs through social media like people are just recommending people and some oh is kb nagaganito daw ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. and then yun, you watch people's vlogs you you click that whatever button and just subscribe and everything and slide into their dms pero don't harass people okay <laughs> and you you go on pinterest you subscribe to the freaking newsletter because people take time to do that and write the things there for you and uh, sometimes you pick up stuff there that you can never pick up from like like the website because there are exclusive updates and everything i should know i put like i, I come up with newsletters and stuff so sometimes there are secret secret lang na dun lang makukuha and I think most uh, what I've learned throughout the years, I think ito talaga yung tatlo eh, na, na I hope you will also realize about you na you have to create even when nobody's liking. I, I should know guys, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very active on social media anymore as, as, as I was when I was life's age because you know, life life happens <laughs> so um I'm, I'm i'm quiet on social media now but i've seen it and i've tried most things so i know that i know that this advice will still take you to where you want to be because when you create even when nobody's liking it you're you're enriching yourself like it, it's you it's you're competing with yourself and that's only gonna make you stronger there something life altering something inspir inspiring <laughs> and then uh read what and when it feels right so no don't i know that we were we look at social media nakaka pressure nagbasa na siya nito nagbasa na kailan pa ako just ko may labada pa lahat lahat but you know read what feels right and don't let anybody tell you na, ay yan yung binabasa mo carlo ano ba naman yan no just ko naman nakaka ano twilight ay. <laughs> ang, lu ang luma Oy, I read all three books ha? Oh, and Fifty Shades of Grey kasi ay four oh my gosh four oh nga pala o oh, four oh four pala <laughs> and when it feels right don't don't force yourself to read something that doesn't spark joy no <laughs> Marie Kondo <laughs> and uh, live and love your dream if your dream for me you know of, of course when you're a reader you you want to write you want to create something and i don't really like syempre dati pangarap ko jk rowling just ko naman no napaka ambitious talaga pero when, when you when you love your when you love what you do things will just follow like if if, if things are meant for you then mapupunta sa yo am i just talking about books here or what <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah next slide please so is my sharing getting in the way of my reading you know if anything as you as you saw it it paves the way like a lot of ways um i wouldn't be here if i was not on social media and that's all i wouldn't be here without it thank you very much for listening <laughs> thank you miss ben <laughs> naaklimatize na ako ayan so <laughs> And because meron tayong ano, meron naman tayong sunod na bring me dahil marami tayong pa giveaway. Ready na ba kayo? Para nasa bingguhan lang. <laughs> ready na ba kayo? So, live, ready na ba? May energy pa po ba kayo? Magdala ng energy. Bring me Magdala energy. po kayo ng charger or power bank. Go, Mom, Kenny, I'm back here. We're rooting for you. <laughs> 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 
Naku, dito na. Anong pangalan? Dito na kayo umupo. Naku, malayo kayo doon. Dito na. Isa pa po. Isa pang gano. So, kung readers po kayo, bring me a bookmark. Yon! <laughs> ay, 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 ay! <laughs> Ma'am Kelly, naku, nakakuha na kayo. Ano ba yan, ha? <laughs> Give chance to others. Ay, pwede nyo pong kunin po yung bookmark nyo po. Hindi po yun yung bayan. <laughs> pwede nyo. Yung bookmark nyo po na yun. Baka may sentimental value. Ayan. Thank you very much for participating and for always like smiling and you know approving whatever we say. Ayan. Please um, allow me to introduce Hani De Perata. She will also be talking about her experiences of being a part of a community and her other efforts. Let's give her a round of applause. My announcement pa po pa. Just a short announcement po. Um, please sign the, regist uh, the registration form or attendance sheet. Please pass it around. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Honey. What's your name? I'm kidding. <laughs> Let me preface this entire thing by saying that I am not a millennial. Okay? So, <laughs> I am talking about social media, but I'm not a millennial. I'm neither Generation Z, but thank you if you thought that. <laughs> um, so, who among you here are members of book clubs? Okay. Um, whatever. Formal, informal, just, you know, you're a member of a book club. Okay. Who has a blog? All right, awesome. Sorry, who has a book blog? Book blog. Okay. Um, who posts book stuff on Twitter? Ah, okay. Kasama ba MB? Twitter. Okay. Who posts book stuff on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram? Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Si Bebang alam ko nagbubok ano ka, nagbubok tube ka sa Facebook, in which case hindi siya booktube. <laughs> <That joke. laughs> um, so I'm not gonna ask you anymore why you're here, but I actually always wonder like why uh, people attend talks about social media, especially because social media is very um, prevalent and widespread. Um, but okay, I am going to talk about, so this is a topic that KB came up with. And I thought that I would focus on the questions in the description, which is probably there in your um, program. Um, specifically, how do social media and book clubs contribute to your best reading life? Is anyone here looking to join a book club? No? Wala. Ayaw mag book club. Okay. <laughs> Are books agramming, book tubing, book tweeting really worth the time and effort? Um, does anyone here uh, want to start? booktubing, bookstagramming, or book tweeting. Yes. Okay, thank you, NBDB staff. <laughs> Do book bloggers still matter, and is joining a book club still relevant? Um, I don't have, like, really specific answers to these questions, but um, I, <laughs> I have personal answers, so I am actually going to call myself Exhibit A. Okay? Exhibit A about these questions. So, um, I was uh, an English teacher. Uh, for 11 years. Um, I shifted to education from engineering. I was in electronics and, um, sorry, um, oh my god, ECE. EEE. -E -E. E -E -E, before pa naghiwala yung tatlong E sa UP. Um, electrical and electronics engineering. Tapos like ECE siya, EE, -E, whatever. Um, and I shifted to education because my whole point in life, I thought I got to a point in college where I said that all I really want to do is read for a living. I don't care about anything else. I mean, I like math, I like all of that, but I wanted to read for a living. Ergo, I chose um, teaching and majored in English. Um, who are, are there any teachers here? English teachers. English teachers. Yeah? Do you actually read for a living? No. Do you actually read most of the time as an English teacher? Really? Wow, congratulations. 
<laughs> because as an English teacher, I was a high school English teacher. I loved reading, but most of my time was spent making lesson plans, checking, um, teaching classes, and like, okay, I am teaching English, but I'm teaching basically the same things. And um, it's nice, that's what I wanted to do, I wanted to share, but, um, you know, it wasn't reading for a living. But that's fine. I came up with like a lot of things for our department, and which was, which was great. And then I think around um, um, 2009, um, because of several things that happened, one of which was I went on leave supposedly to do my thesis, which by the way, I have not finished until now. Never mind. Um, I put up a book blog. Why did I put up a book blog? Because like KB's graph of data, I realized that I had a reading slump, and then I only really started reading again voraciously uh, when I was doing an MA and I was required to read like all of the Booker Prize winners, because that was part of the class, which was fantastic. I loved it. You know, it got me back to reading. I put up a book blog. Um, it's called Coffee Spoons. This book blog was put up in 2009. It did not look like this in 2009. It looked like that tacky, you know, 2009 stuff. Um, and then um, I was very active in it for like, I guess for two years. Won a cup, uh, it was nominated a few times for like a arts and culture blog and whatever. But I put up that book blog because um, I also found around that time a book club. Um, so this book club was lo initially located in Shelfari. Are you familiar with Shelfari? No one here remember Shelfari? Okay. Oh, you remember Shelfari. Shelfari is like Goodreads, but a much better interface, much, much prettier. Um, but Shelfari was bought by Amazon before Amazon bought Goodreads, and as Amazon usually does, it kills off its competition. So Shelfari died. Um, but in 2007, there was this woman, Jeje. Um, she's the founder of the book club. She started the book club in Shalfari called Flips Flipping Pages. She wanted to own the word flip, which is supposedly a derogatory term, right? And then um, people just started joining. Filipinos started joining Flips Flipping Pages. So I think I joined around 2008. First time I met them was in 2009. Flip Flipping Pages, starting 2008, meets every month. We have book discussions every month. So it's been going on for, is that 12 years? 12 years. And we are not, um, we are not the oldest book club that I know of that still meets every month. So if you're wondering, is there a book club in the Philippines composed of like people who initially did not know each other, and actually some of these people are very, very close friends now, um, yes, there are. There are several. Like Life and KB have been saying, and later on I think Bebang will share, there are several. Really? Three minutes remaining? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so, oh my god, I'm not, anyway, I will try. Um, <laughs> there is um, this book club. And because I joined that book club, and then I started the book blog, and then, you know, I started posting about books, I actually, <laughs> this is funny, I actually found the courage to quit my job. <laughs> so, <laughs> I quit teaching. But ka Oh my God, they joke. <laughs> um, I quit teaching because, you know, I'd been teaching for a long time, and then I found myself in publishing, but um, educational publishing. Now, um, around 2009, 2009 na, okay, this is actually a post in my blog. Very ambitious title, right? Filipino book bloggers to conquer the world. Because also around that time, sorry, it's a very low res photo, but this was a group of Filipino book bloggers. This was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, Beba, Oh my God. 10 years ago, our dream was to gather all of the Filipino book bloggers and Filipino book clubs. Because what we thought then was that if you go to local events, so actually I think I was in the very first PILF. In the very first PILF, we said, where are the readers? The very first Lit Fest, the audience was teachers, writers, publishers, book industry people, that was it. Where were the readers? And I think the assumption then was, ay baka wala ganong readers, di ba? But we have the industry. So, 2009, we thought that, hey, we know we're here. We are book bloggers, we are book club members, we know each other, we are around. 
So, why don't we start something? You know, if, um, if there aren't any events yet that acknowledge the presence of Filipino readers, why don't we start something? Which we did. Um, in 2000, and th so that was 2009, got us around to 2000, sorry, 2010 rather, 2010, the first Lit Fest. And then 2011, that's when we had the first Filipino Reader Con. So the Filipino Reader Con, when we held it 2011 up until I think the last one was held 2017. Um, the intent was to gather as many of the readers um, as possible. Of course, if it was in Manila, most of the people attending were in Manila. But the objective was that we wanted to encourage Filipino readers to come out. Not just to encourage Filipinos to become readers. Because let me ask you a question. This is a favorite question I ask. Um, raise your hand if you think that the Filipino is a reader. If you think that the Filipino is a reader. Okay. Sorry? Anything counts. But see, why will we ask if comics counts? Ah, is a comic a book? So, okay. Who thinks that Filipinos are readers? Raise your hand if you think the Philippines is a reading nation. Okay, you know what? This is the only room where I actually had majority of the people raise their hand. Every talk that I go to, wow, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Every talk that I go to, I ask, are Filipinos readers? The answer is, oh, oh, not so much. Yeah, maybe like one or two people will raise their hands. I don't know why. Maybe I do. <laughs> Let's pretend I don't know why. Someone told us, us, all of us, someone told us that Filipinos are not readers. Right? You go, I mean, later on I'll show you some screen caps, but the general consensus is the Filipinos have to be taught to become readers and they have to be trained to become readers. And then, once in a while, you might see a national artist, I'm not naming who, <laughs> once in a while, you might see a national artist print um, an article on a broadsheet saying that Filipinos aren't readers because they don't read my books. That doesn't equate, right? We have been trained to believe that Filipinos aren't readers. What if we are? What if we always were? What if we've been like spreading around the wrong narrative? The narrative that, ay, kasi kailangan mong, kailangan, kailangan um, turuan magbasa ang Pilipino. What if that's the wrong narrative? What if the readers have always been around and you just need to find them and then acknowledge them and then celebrate them? Because in my experience, they are, we are. So we put up a Filipino reader con to gather the book clubs. And let me tell you, there are a lot of book clubs. There's Flips, Flipping Pages, and Goodreads. There's the Filipino group that's been around also for like 10 years. There's PRPB, which Bebang will talk about later. There is Bookbed, there is BUPH, there is Pinoy Book Freaks United. We made it a point to consolidate as many book clubs as we could find and then also come up with a list of book bloggers circa 2010. Right now, there are so many book bloggers, we don't know them anymore and we've actually stopped because we're old. Okay? <laughs> but these are the volunteers. So when we put up a Filipino Reader Con, we'd, ha we'd have like 100 to 300 people who will attend and everyone who participated would volunteer. So no one got any money. Actually, we lost money. But that's fine, you know. <laughs> we like doing it. So we did that, you know, because we believed in the Filipino reader. Um, I saw. This is also where we met like different book reading groups because the point was where are the Filipino readers? Let us acknowledge them no matter what they're reading. Because you have a lot of small groups somewhere. This is where I met KB. That's KB over there. Ran free book day PH. Yeah, 20, 30, 2015. Yes. And then not only that. So we launched the ReaderCon 2011, 2012, we became more ambitious. We said, hey, you have the National Book Awards, you have the Palanca Awards, but there's no award given by readers, right? What if we ran a Filipino Reader's Choice Awards? No money, no one really in the book industry. It's really just, let's do it, because no one told us we couldn't. So we did it. 
This is the first Filipino Reader's... Sorry, this one pala. Yes, this is the first Filipino Reader's Choice Awards. Kikita niyan si Bebang. Siya yung unang nanalo ng Filipino Reader's Choice Awards ng Filipino... Sana yung size? Essay. Essay, essay, oo. Nalala ko ba yung naghihintay siya sa albaso? Oh my God, pananalo ba ako? Mananalo ba ako? Ganun. As inanawin siya, pigla siyang pumasok. But it was all volunteers and readers who did it. So we ran the Filipino Reader's Choice Awards until we got tired. <laughs> By the natural death, yeah, got old, yeah. But we were able to do it for five years. We did it for five years. And it was a popularity vote for the first stage, but the second stage, we had a panel of readers per category who would choose the best book. So we did that. Um, now, sorry, why am I exhibit A? No, wala yung train ko na. <laughs> we did all of that, or I helped do, actually, I founded the Filipino Reader Con. I did all of that. Um, the book uh, club, the book blogging, and I told you I quit my job. Around 2011, I was contacted by an ebook publisher who was looking for someone to head their publishing company. And then I was working in educational publishing, and I figured that, hey, this is trade publishing, actual books like this, not just textbooks. I am interested. So I got that job. He would have never found me if he did not see my blog. Um, I started coming to the Lit Fest as a speaker also around 2013 or something. Why? I'm no one in the book industry. A lot of the people in the book industry, you know, it's families, it's, you know, companies. I'm no one. Who was I? A blogger. I was a blogger, but I would attend events and I would say that, hey, you should like, you know, I, <laughs> I approached Mom Karina. <laughs> Uh, Bolasco said, you know, you should like, you know, you should like hire bloggers, like give uh, give review copies to bloggers. I was very young, this is around 10 years ago. And then, you know, talking excitedly about this. And that's what bloggers do. That's what these young kids, young kids, uh, sorry. <laughs> that's what these people do. Because for the love of it. So I got a job in a trade book publisher. And then because I was putting up the Filipino Reader Con, nagpakapal mukha na ako. I contacted the publishing reps. You know the publishing reps, the ones who sell books of Random House, of Simon & Schuster, of Hachette, books like th these. So I contacted them so that they would donate books. And then I got to know them. And then, maybe years afterwards, because I got to know them through the reader con, through this volunteer thing that we were doing as an extra time, um, there was an opening. There was an opening in Tango Random House. And then because I knew the person and she knew me, she contacted me. So now I work for Penguin Random House. So, and I really, really think that none of this would have happened if I were not a book blogger and a book club member and I did not put up any of these things. Now, I'm not saying that that's what you have to do if you want a career in publishing, okay? What I'm saying is that regardless of the platform, these are the young book bloggers that you have now. Regardless of the platform, be it blogging, now they said blogging is dying, it's more bookstagramming, or um, t Twitter, or I don't know, I checked out TikTok. You know TikTok? Alam niyo yung TikTok? Hindi ko siya naiintindihan. Oh my God, ano siya? Hindi <laughs> niyo alam? Hindi niyo alam? Tingnan niyo, download niyo. Ewan ko, ano ko maintindihan niyo? Ako hindi ko siya maintindihan, ha? Yeah, oo. But see, it doesn't matter what the platform is. Bloggers, book club members, people who are passionate about reading are important because you need them to talk about reading because you need them to tell everyone else that Filipinos are readers. Let me give you an example. This is a nice article that came out in Young Star. These are five Filipino bloggers that do deserve your attention. They're very young. Some of them are here right now. But check this out. Reading in this economy. I'm sorry. I'm like, what the fuck? It's always like the beginning is, and there was an article also that came out in Rappler. It said there that Filipinos buy the most books. That's yung caption nila. Are Filipino readers book, re uh, are Filipino, uh, sorry, are Filipinos readers or hoarders? Tapos yung comment, hoarder, hoarder, hoarder. I'm like, so ayaw maniwala ng mga tao na nagbabasa ang mga Pilipino. Bakit? We read, we read comics, we read precious pages, we read Wattpad, we read like foreign books, we read. So this is why you need 
bloggers, book club members, people who are passionate about it because they know. And they will find their tribe. And you might want to find your tribe. This one also, I posted this. I grabbed this photo from Tinet. This is MIBF two years ago. You know that once in a while, they have to close the doors because there's so many people coming in? Do you know that this doesn't happen in other countries? Do you know that other countries in Southeast Asia will ask me about the book and the reading public in the Philippines because they say, you guys are amazing? The only one who doesn't believe that Filipinos are readers are the people in the Philippines. Trust me, if I went to my office in New York and the other publishers in New York and I told them, hey, you know what? People in the Philippines, they don't think Filipinos are readers. They were like, huh? No one outside this country believes that. So why should you? And I put this there because it's fantastic. But you know what? The comments, ang comments nila is, ay hindi kasi ang pinuntahan nila dyan yung mga artista na may mga libro. Ang comment naman, ano ngayon? Hindi pa valid yung mga taong nagbabasa ng libro ng artista? Are they invisible? Are they not readers? Why are they not readers? Are we better than them? Because I read, I don't know, Illustrado? <laughs> no, I mean, Illustrado is a nice book, but like, is a reader of Illustrado better than someone who reads Wattpad? Yes? <laughs> so, okay lang. mag tayo mamaya. So, we have like, oh my God, we have so many readers. This is a reading country. The Filipino is, is a reader. This is a reading nation. That is what you know, these young people who do things out of their own money and time and out of their own pocket, that's what they do. And that's why they're needed. So how do social, yeah, okay, of course. My answer to all of that, yes, you need that. So if you forget anything else in this talk, please don't forget this. The Filipino is a reader. Don't say that the, we, want to, we want the Philippines to become a reader. Yes, we do. We want more Filipinos to become readers, but they are, we already are. We are. Where, who do you think Precious Pages sells their books to? Have you seen a Wattpad gathering? Have you seen a gathering of Wattpad authors? Have you? MIBF, second floor. They had to close the second floor because there were 2,000 people there on a school day on a school day 2,000 people who wanted to see Maxine Gigi you see that and then someone has a gall to tell me that I Filipinos don't read I'm like so if you want to solve the problems in the industry I think that reality has to be acknowledged because if you don't acknowledge that reality we'll be solving different problems problems that apparently we don't need to solve because it's there they're there just find them Okay, so that's it. Sorry, I have one lesson. No? I'm pa plugging lang ako, ha? shameless plugging. <laughs> I don't believe in things not being political. I think everything is political. So if you can find this book, it's a YA book. It's, uh, it's written by an author, a uh, Philippine American author. It's about, uh, uh, it touches on the drug war. And it is going to be released on June 18. Find it because it might not be widely available, but it's available in a couple of bookstores. Buy it and read it. It is a beautiful, beautiful book. Okay? Medyo weird yung segue niya, pero total nagbabasa naman tayong lahat eh. Buy this book. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry. I'm so over time. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Honey. O oh, ba? bumalik yung Miss. Kasi, you know, I look up to Miss Honey. As you can see, I met her in 2015 and she was actually one of the people who paved the way for BookBed for so many people in the book industry and also, um, yung Filipino book bloggers, yun yung mention ko nung sa Goodreads, they, w sila yon, sila yon. So, and also, just to follow, follow that up, um, I'm also endorsing that book. <laughs> so, on Bookbed, if you follow us now, we are talking about patron saints of nothing. So, it is about the drug war. It's written from the Phil M. 
uh, from the perspective of a Phil M. And I am from Davao, right? So there's a stereotype that, oh, kumusta naman si Tito Digong Nimo? They really always ask that. But I think this is, this was such a, a balanced way of approaching um, the current situation. So I really, I really recommend that you pick it, you also pick it up. Not because Miss Honey told you so, but you know, <laughs> uh, we're here to recommend books. Also, um, our very special, last but not the least speaker, Miss Bebang Si. I don't think she needs further introductions. She's gonna talk about again book communities and also a study. Yeah, a study about what Filipino young adults read. Palak na palak. Thank you, KB. Uh, hello, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, ako po si Bebang Si sa Poco Manonulat at nagtatabaho rin po ako ngayon sa Cultural Center of the Philippines. Uh, Nag-leave po ako pero nandito po ang, uh, ang buong intertextual division. Tayo-tayo, si Diday, si Stacy, si Geraldine and our intern from Princeton University, si Ryan. Yeah, single po. Pinay Reads. <laughs> Pinay Reads. <laughs> Uh, pwede daw pa mag-intern sa NDDB. <laughs> okay po. So, dalawa po yung uh, share ko. Yung una tungkol sa isang book club. Tapos yung isa po ay isang study tungkol sa mga binabasa na mga Pinoy teens. No? 13 years old hanggang 19 years old. Yun yung share ko sa inyo. Um, um, doon sa mga hindi nakakaintindi ng Filipino, I'm so sorry. Magpa-translate kayo sa katabi niya. <laughs> hindi ko kaya mag-ingress unless gusto nyo mag-stand up comedy ako dito <laughs> okay so our uh, book club is called Pinoy Reads Pinoy Books Book Club next please so um, uh, it was founded tama ba? natagpo ang patay <laughs> ano pa yan? tinatag oh my god it was foundation <laughs> <laughs> balik balik eto tinatag po siya noong 2012 tapos po ang founder po namin ay galing din po sa ibang book club ang pangalan po nila ay si Alandoni Oliveros and Jason Vega sila po yung nagbuo ng book club kasi po naisip po nila na doon sa iba pong um, book club na kanilang nasalihan uh, the books that are being read are uh, some of them are foreign so gusto nila eto naman exclusively Filipino books ang binabasa so, nag, uh, una po silang nabuo sa Goodreads website at face-to-face uh, -face po kami, na, nagkikita po kami once a month. No, since 2012. Okay, tapos uh, lahat po ng ginagawa namin ay free and open to public. Yun po. Next please. Um, um, every year, nagpa-plano po kami what books to be discussed every month and then we um, among ourselves, we choose a moderator. Sometimes the moder uh, sometimes the members uh, volunteer uh, to become the moderator of a book, and then the, the book discussion sometimes uh, start online, um, and then magikita kami yun yung pinaka parang uh, culminating event na kikita po kami every month. Tapos uh, we talk about the. Um, chosen books, minsan sa Goodreads, minsan sa group chat, at sa Messenger. So, ma uh, malaking bagay po yung uh, social media kasi um, doon na po uh, nakakapag-usap yung mga members ng book club kasi po, um, most of us come from different parts of the metro and some of us, like me, come from Cavite. Yun, yung iba po Bulacan, yung iba Balarama, laing malayo po. So, nag-uusap-usap po kami through social media. And sometimes, um, most of the time, we invite the author of the book uh, as, uh, you know, to be interviewed about the book. And then some of, sometimes, um, kung hindi na po available yung author o kung hindi po siya available ay yung tao na may kinalaman po doon sa libro. For example, ay mamaya may, may papakita ko sa inyo, no? Tapos, um, we choose our uh, venues, no? Um, so, our venues range from coffee shops, tea, milk tea shops, um, bookshop uh, like uh, upper shelf ng UP Press um, sa bahay namin, nung nakatira pa po kami sa Camias, Quezon City um, minsan, uh, nagpupunta rin po kami sa bahay ng author no? for example, nagpunta kami sa bahay ni Rogelio Ordonez, one of the Agos sa Disherto authors no? alam ko hindi nyo kilala yun, pero 
Uh, <laughs> nasa textbook nyo po yan. So, magbuklat po kayo yung textbook. Nandun po siya yung pangalan niya. Rogelio Ordonez kasama si na Efren Abueg. So, nagpunta kami sa bahay nila sa Cavite. Tapos, dun po namin diniscuss yung, um, yung libro nila na Aga sa Desierto. So, yun po yung uh, aming venues minsan, no? So, we had, um, we have different kinds of discussions. For example, author-centered discussion, we had uh, Lourdes Vera, uh, yung model ng Chichiria, <laughs> na isa ring journalist at isa ring spoken word poet at isa ring musician, lahat lang na nasa kanya. Kasi kapit-bahay namin siya. We, he lives uh, near our house. As in, kabilang kalya lang, no? So, pinapunta namin sa bahay. We chose a book of Um, I forgot the title, pero yun yung diniscuss, tapos yung araw ng face-to-face, -face, he came over, yeah, and then we asked questions about the book. Si Fanny Garcia, okay, isa sa mga uh, ipinakahinahaan nating manunalat na babae, nagkita kami sa Cruz na Ligas uh, sa isang veg veg vegetable restaurant. <laughs> Okay, at dun po namin siya uh, kinausap tungkol sa kanyang librong isang daang damit. And of course, Ricky Lee, pinuntahan din po namin sa bahay. Yung bahay po ni Ricky Lee, malapit lang din po sa amin sa may Saviorville. Dun kami kasi sa Anonas. So, sa Saviorville na house niya, mayroong parang library. Doon po naganap yung book discussion. No? Um, of course, we have a uh, team-centered kind of discussion ng book. So, we had a cookbook. So, nagluto kami, no? niluto namin yung mga pagkain na nandun sa cookbook. And then, we invited the author. Ayan. So, parang meron kaming ano, piyesta doon. Si Ma'am, ano to? Si Ma'am Feliz Prudent. Sosyal-sosyal niya. Ano ko nakakahiya? Ang sosyal-sosyal, no? Ayan. Tapos, sa uh, setting center discussion, meron kami yung uh, kay Domingo Landicho na nobela, Anak ng Lupa, The Child of the Soil. Wow. The Child of the Road. <laughs> And the anak ng lupa, no? Uh, anak ng lupa. Sige, English nyo nga, English nyo nga. So, uh, we went to the setting of the novels in Batangas. Uh, nobody knew where the exact place was. So, oh my God, adventure talaga siya, no? At kinasiyang kami ng tadhana, natagpuan namin yung setting. At hindi lang yun, natagpuan namin yung bahay nila. Of course, he was not living there anymore, but the yung uh, sister and brother niya nandun pa. Tapos may mga lumang photos nila ng family, ganyan, when he was younger. He was a gasoline boy station. Ay, gasoline boy station. <laughs> okay, he was a gasoline station boy. Tama ba? He was a gas boy. <laughs> boy gas. Tawag <laughs> doon. Tapos nagtataba siya sa ano, gasolinahan. Okay, tapos nagtabaho siya, nakatapos siya ng college, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos hanggang nag-PhD, ayan, si Sir Domingo Landicho. Buhay pa siya, guys. So, wag, <laughs> wag niyo akalaing patay na si Sir. Buhay na buhay pa siya. So, anak ng lupa, punta kami dyan. Tapos alam niyo, nung nagpunta kami dyan, nakaano kami, itsurang magsasaka. So, may ano kami, yung... Uh -oh, yung sombrero, tapos naka, ano ka, may checkered, tapos saka pantalon, ganyan. Tapos, anim na sabado ng Beyblade, ito yung kay uh, Ferdinand Harin. It, this, yung book niya, kalahati sa Zambales, so pinuntahan no, nung grupo namin, no, hindi ako nakasama eh. Pinuntahan sa Zambales yung Candelaria, yung lugar. No? Ang pangalan ng town, Kinabuangan. Kinabuangan, q -U -I. Okay. Tapos, yung kalahati ng book, Nang, nangyari sa Makati. So, pinuntahan din nila kasama ni author. No? Sa mga sembo-sembo, yung membo ko, membo, yung part na yun. <laughs> yeah. Next, please. So, um, we tackle books of, of the various genres. Comics, uh, essay, ano pa ba? English, Filipino, novel, uh, CNF, lahat-lahat tula, lahat-lahat po ay tinatanggap ng, ng aming ano, um, book club. Ako, sabi ko sa kanila, kailan tayo magtatakal ng libro na tungkol sa welding? Kasi gusto ko, <laughs> welding, di ba may libro tayo tungkol sa wedding? Welding, bakit hindi? Tsaka sa nursing, yung mga ganyan, no? Kasi libro pa rin yan, no? At meron tayong gawa sa Pilipinas. So, we welcome a lot of genre. Wala kaming pakialam kung ano man yan tinatakal. Basta, naboto po ng members. Binoboto kasi siya every month. Tapos, we partner with institutions, sometimes for the venues, 
Ito yung sa upper shelf ng UP Press for the His Native Coast of National Artist for Literature, Miss Edith Tiempo, na nagsa-celebrate ng kanyang ikalisang daang taon ngayong 2019. Yan. So, syempre, pumanaw na po siya. No? Pero, um, maganda po na balikan ng kanyang mga akda sapagkat siya lang po ang National Artist na for Literature na babae. Yan. Okay. So, tinalakay po namin. Um, we partner with um, what, ano ba mga institution na kapartner namin? Uh, yung Filipino Department. Dati kasi kinausap namin si Sir Rio para talakayan yung isang libro niya ng tula. Oo, National Artist for Literature din po siya na uh, poetry naman po ang kanyang expertise and literary criticism. Yun, sabi pa nga, <laughs> yung head namin pinakilala si Sir Rio, ang pambansang uh, pambansang bayani. Nagkamali siya. <laughs> pambansang bayani. Eh, sabi ko, ay, hindi, dapat pambansang alagad ng batas. Kasi masig mahigpit. Mahigpit si Sir, no? <laughs> okay, next please. Ay, sorry, pwede pong bumalik. Ito po yung founder. Siya po, si KD Olivero, si San IT Manager, and Jason Vega. Sila po yung aming um, founders. Yeah, next. Um, of course, we choose books uh, according to sometimes the uh, relevance sa buwan. So, for example, Pride Month ngayong June, ang tinalakay po namin ngayong buwan na ito ay ang bagay tayo ni Jerry Grasho. No, na, ma, ma, na makikilala niyo sa Philippine International Lit Fest ngayon. Nandito siya, mag, magtotok din po siya. Sa, di ba po? Tama po? Si Sir Jerry Gracio, he's a poet. Ayan po. Pero ang nagsulot po siya ng mga sanaysay sa Filipino sa bagay tayo. Okay, tapos nung Women's Month, kami po ay nagtalakay ng isang cookbook ng mga recipes and short essays from Marawi. No, kasi ito po ay mga recipe ng mga babae, babaeng Marawi. So, ito po ay ginanap sa CCP. Yan. Sinabay na, kasi doon ako nag-work, so nil, sinabay ko na para mayroon kami pang God. Ano mo yan? Yan? Diba? Mga gobyerno eh. Gender and development eh. Okay. So, sinama ko na. Yan. Two in one. Tapos, uh, bumili sila na, yung mga kasama ko sa book club, bumili ng pagkain sa Kiapo, and then we shared it to the audience. No? Kumain sila, try sila ng mga pagkain na ang recipe ay mula sa Marawi. Ah, na nasyak ako, no? Kahit hindi namin kilala ba nang ikikain? <laughs> so, subo sila ng subo. Takaw. Next, please. <laughs> okay, we had outreach activity with Museo Pambata before. Uh, we had performances. Isa to sa mga hindi namin malilimutan. Um, nagbasa ang book club namin ng Orosman at Zafira ni Balagtas. Ito po yung pinakamahaba niyang work. Mas mahaba sa Florante at Laura. Alam niyo gano'ng katagal na binasa ng book club namin yan? Eight hours. Tuloy-tuloy. Saan? Sa CCP ulit. No? Sa CCP. Kasi meron kami noong time na yun, meron kami performance literature festival. So, kinausap ka sila, would you like to do this uh, this kind of activity and try reading Orosman and Zafira? No? So, may ganung work si Balagtas. Yes, eight hours. Tapos, of course, we uh, also had a book discussion about a uh, work of Koching. No? El Indio yung title. Koching is National Artist for uh, Visual Arts. Uh, comics po siya, comics artist. At ang kany siya po ay nagdiriwang din ng kanyang centennial this year no? matatapos sa January okay, so yan po yung ilan sa ginagawa ng aming book club next please, meron pa ba? so um, um, naging, naging member ako kasi nahiya ako eh, sa, sa totoo lang you know why? ang unang-unang libro na tinalakay nila was my book <laughs> nahiya ako na hindi sumali di ba? Kasi yun nga, eh, una, yung libro ko na sa Naysa, yun ang una nilang tinalakay. At nag-tour kami because the book was about parang may first date. So, sinundan namin yung essay na yun, yung first date sa nagpunta. Kami ako, yung, nung malandi pa ako, so, ako nagpunta, ganyan, saan kami nag-date. So, sinama ko sila. Yan, sinama ko sila. Andiyan nga pala, for sale, tama ba? Unveil? Andiyan ba? Meron ba? It's a men's world. Ayan, meron pa po. So, bumili po kayo 300,500 pesos. <laughs> De, 100 something lang po yung libro na yun. Anyway, so, sabi sa akin, pagkatapos ng tour, 
Huwag mong member ka naman sa amin. O ano yung sasagot nyo? ba? Diba? ba? Diba? O naging member ako. <laughs> so dahil po doon, naging member ako, abay, na natuwa ako. Alam nyo kung bakit? It means, hindi dahil sa libro. Alam nyo, do, yung mismong group members, yun yung nakita kong strength. We, ito sila, IT manager yung isa, isa government employee, yung isa BPO, taga BPO, yung isa publishing professional, yung isa college student, yung isa grade school teacher, yung isa fund, account, fund accountant. So, is, ayan yan sila. Isa nanay na artist. Yung isa nanay na manunulat, ako pala yun. <laughs> yung isa photographer at layout artist. Si isa freelancer, no? Kung ano nung ginagawa sa buhay. Isang occupational therapist. At marami pa sila. No? At ang nakita ko, no? Ang nakita ko ay diversity. No? Na kahit iba-iba yung opinion namin dun sa iisang akda, walang nag-aaway. Ano? Wala yung nag-aaway. Talagang ano, nagbibigayan. Ah, okay. O, papakinggan kita. O, yan pala yung naisip mo. Kasi sa akin, hindi yan, ano, hindi ganyan yung tingin ko, eh. Ay, ito, yan, yan pulang ano na yan, bandila, may kahulugan yan. Eh, parang ano, OA ka na, no? Tapos, nag, nag uusap kami ng ganon. No, walang nag-aaway. Dere-derecho lang. Yun ang nakita ko. And I think, it was, it, what, it is what made me stay. Oh my God. Yun yung, nag, <laughs> yun yung nagpanatili sa akin to Max si Ryan, punta-punta ba dito? <laughs> yun yung nagpanatili sa akin sa book club na ito. And I think, next please, okay? Book clubbing is not about books, no? It's about respect for diversity. So, I think, uh, yung pagsali sa book club, hindi lang siya para tumalino tayo, para ma-entertain tayo ng libro, it will teach us to become better human. May S. Okay? Thank you very much. Yan po yung Pinoy Reads, Pinoy Book. Segway tayo sa susunod na presentation. Ang sipag ko, dala-dalawa. Next, please. Okay. So, yung next po ay isa pong informal na study na ginawa ko. Kasi alam nyo bakit? Nainggit ako sa NBDB. May readership survey for adults. So, ang ginawa ko for baby. <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> joke, baby. Anong binawasa mo? Hindi, joke lang. Ang ginawa ko, readership survey para sa teenagers. Okay. Pero ang NBDB isang libo ang ang ano ang tinanong. Ed 1 to eh hindi kaya ng budget ko. So ako ay nagtanong ng dalawang tao. Wala <laughs> yun lang kayo ng budget ko eh. So tinanong, teenager ka nung binabasa mo. Teenager ka nung binabasa mo. The end. Ah. <laughs> uh -uh. uh -uh. population ko dalawa. Diyan ako. Wala pa. Oh my God. Kinabahan ako bigla. Okay. So, 100 respondents from Mega Manila. Ginaya ko talaga. May Mega Manila pa ako. Mega Manila, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. May mga ganyan-ganyan pa ako. 13 years old to 19 years old. I used the social media to gather their answers. No? And I, um, nagpatulong ako sa isang graduating student during that time. It was 2017. A guy na namit ko sa book club, no? Estudyante siya sa UP Los Banyos and his name is TJ Tenedero. Sabi ko, TJ, pwede bang gawan mo kung yung parang sasagot lang sila tapos iipunin mo yung kanilang sagot? So, yun ang ginawa niya para sa akin. So, he was very helpful. Nakagather ako ng 98 na sagot. No? Tapos last week, pinuno ko yung dalawa para matapos dito. <laughs> Para matapos sa so 2017 hanggang 2019 yung study. Yan, gan ganun kahaba. Um, pa ano pa ba? Uh, marami sa kanila ang male. Ay, mas marami ang female kesa sa male. Okay, mas marami ang 19 years old, 18, 17. Kasi palagay ko dahil yung nagtanong, ang unang nagtanong ay si... TJ. Si TJ was uh, a graduating student na sa UP Los Baños. So, siguro yun yung mga una niyang tinanong. Kaya medyo mataas na yung ano yung edad. Tapos nakakatawa, sabi niya, ano po yung tanong? Sabi ko, 
Anong binabasa mo ngayon? Sabi niya, seryoso po, yan lang yung tanong. Sabi ko, oo, yan lang. Pero sige, tanungin mo na rin kung ano, pag ang lason ba na expired, ininom mo, mamamatay ka? One. Number two, anong website ni Spider-Man? Number three. Number three, basta puro kalukuhan. Alam nyo, tinayip niya. So, sumagot ka ba sa dyante? Nakakatawa. So, sumagot sila. Siguro mga ano, 50. 50 yung sumagot. Sabi ko, ano ka ba, TJ? Nag-joke lang ako. No? Masyado seryoso tong TJ na to. Bukla member namin. Okay. Ano ang... Sige, matatapos. <laughs> matatapos na yung, ano, yung, yung, yung findings ko sa research. Wala pa yung aking ano, no? Yung aking uh, ita itatakel. Oo, yung aking presentation. Okay. Ano ang aking natuklasan? O ganito lang yun. Ma mabilis na mabilis lang, no? Uh, may mga iba-iba yung kanila sagot. May sumagot ng... Anong, yun ang tanong, ha? Ano ang binabasa mo ngayon? Yun lang ang tanong. Wala nang iba. So, ang sagot nila, may sumagot ng author, may sumagot ng genre, no? Romance, horror, mga ganun, misteryo, ganyan. May sumagot ng title mismo, no? At, at iba pa, no? Sa iba-iba sila na sagot. So, ginather ko kung, ila, kung ano ni yung masagot nila sa Filipino authors. So, yun yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. Ano, sino, sino, sino itong mga binabasa ng teenagers natin? Na mga authors na Filipino. Gusto nyo bang mag-try? Sige nga, hula kayo na isa. E, pwede bang, ma'am, pwede ba natin pamigay yan? Oo. So, mag-try nga kayo, isa. Kung sino yun nandun sa survey natin? Wow, Sir Noel, congratulations! Okay, nanalo ka ng mineral water. Ito pa. Thank you, Sir. Winner to. Okay. So, meron pa ba? So, si Bab Ong, tama, tatlo. Tatlong mention si Bab Ong. At sa Mindanao. Okay? Tatlo yung nag-mention sa kanya. At lahat silang tatlo galing ng Mindanao. Okay, meron pa? Yes, Glenn. Kihalatang wala tayo. No? Bebang C? Eh, oh my God. Heartbroken me. Umasa ako eh. Umasa me. Wala me. Wala. Nanalo ko pa rin ng nameplate. <laughs> Joke lang. Wala. Ulo, ay, pwede bang may premyo kahit mali yung sagot? Pangalan ko naman yung sinagot, eh. <laughs> Nalatay. Kaibigan ko pa si, si Glenn. Galing pang Cavite yan. Sa dulong, dulo ng mundo. Oo. Sige, next please po. Ayan. Ay, no. Ay, sorry. So, ginawa ko tong research na to para sa end, dahil nga naingit ako sa NBDB. And because I was invited to talk about appreciating young adult literature ng isang association ng librarians noong 2017. Next, please. So, I had one question survey. Ayan, nasabi ko na yan. Next, please. I got help from my writer friends, teacher friends, reader friends, mommy friends, friends, former students, and office mates. Ayan sila. Yan. Sabi ko, please help me ano, find the answers of the teenagers all over the Philippines. So, yan. Sila yung mga nagbigay na. Eto. So, 19 years old, 28 ang sumag... Ah, 28 na 19 years old, 20 na 18 years old, pinakakonti yung 13 years old. Tatlo lang sila. Okay? So, 100. I-add nyo man. Next, please. Saan sila nakatira? Luzon, 23. Minda Pinakamarami yung Mindanao sumagot. Kasi marami po ang kaibigan sa Mindanao. Tapos sa Visayas, 24. At Mega Manila, NCR, 100. Ay, 25. 100 lahat. Next, please. So, ano yung mga pinagmulan nilang probinsya o hometown? Tinanong din kasi namin yun. So, saan ka nakatira? Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, or Mega Manila, yun yung sagot. Tapos, saan ka nagmula na hometown mo or probinsya? So, may galing sa Bicol, Albay, Camarines Sur, Cavite, Silang, Cavite, Bulacan, Isabela, Nueva Ecija, may Kalbanatuan, may Gapan, Pampanga, Laguna, Pangasinan, Quezon, Saria, Sariaya, at Batangas. Sa Luzon, sa Visayas, Cebu, Cebu City, Northern, Samar, Eastern, Samar. 
Antike, Iloilo, Dumaguete, Capiz, Gimaras, at yung Negros Island. So, yan yung mga pinanggalingan ng sagot. And Mindanao, pinakamarami sa lahat. Uzamis, Cotabato, General Santa City, Takurong, Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, Surigao del Sur, Iligan, Marawi, Misamis Oriental, Zamboanga del Sur, Cagayan de Oro, Davao, Davao City, Davao del Sur, Digos, tsaka Midsayap, North Catabato. Patandaan niyo yung North Catabato na yan. May kita niyo yung mamaya. So, Mega Manila. Kasi tinanong natin, di ba, saan ang galing na hometown? Sagot niya, wala. <laughs> Kasi Mega Manila na. So, Quezon City, Makati, Caloacan, Marikina, Manila, Makati. Ulit? Pag na ulit? Pateros. Next, please. Sex. 63 babae, lalaki 35. Di tiyak. Kasi yung name. Yung name nila, no? Tapos sinanap ko sila sa FB, hindi ko sila mahanap. So, hindi ako sure kung babae o lalaki. No? Next, please. Ang resulta nung binabasa mo ngayon, ito yung sinagot nila. May bundle, no? Sa sagot nila, academic books. Ganon. Tapos suma may sumagot ng reviewer, may sumagot ng Bible, may sumagot ng series. So, for example, It's a Man's World 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. May ganon. May ganon sagot, no? Tapos, uh, meron ding sumagot na isa lang ang sagot niya. Meron din nag sumagot ng nag-elaborate siya, bonggam-bongga. Next. Ito na! Ito. Balik, balik, balik. Joke. Okay, ito na. So, ang author na nabanggit sa Pinoy, si Bob Ong, Mindanao. No? Tatlo mention. June Cruz Reyes, dalawang mention. Mega Manila, Bulacan. Ricky Lee, dalawa. NCR, Bulacan. The rest, tigi isang mention na lang. Try nga natin. Sige nga, mayroon pa ba tayo ipapamiga? And dami! O game, try, try. Dali, dali. Mabilis lang. Sir. Okay, very good. Survey. Ah, mamaya, mamaya. Meron. Meron pa? Meron. Thank you. Very good. Sige, meron pa po? Ikaw. Lord de Vera. Wala po, sorry, sir. Ang Beto Campo, sorry, wala po. Marcelo Santos the third wala po. Yes? Wala po. Jose Rizal? Oh my God, hindi siya nabanggit. Oh my God, ngayon ko lang na-realize. Pero nabanggit yung title ng book niya. Pero hindi, wala siya, hindi siya binanggit. Nakalimutan na. Oh, sino po? Ivetan, wala po. So anyway, eto po ang lumabas sa ating, ay, yan. Ersio e, Nilose, Egay Samar, Alvin Yapan, Eros Atalia, thank you. Luan Hati Bautista, kalimutan yung lahat. My God, lahat tayo duman dyan. Conchitina Cruz, would you believe? Shakira Season and Katrina Tovera. And ito yung mga napansin natin dyan. Tingnan nyo ah. Uh, wait lang po, sorry po, balik. Ingles, Tagalog, Tagalog, ta ay sorry, Filipino. Ingles, Filipino, Filipino, Filipino. Filipino. Ingles, Ingles, Ingles. Visayas. Mahilig mang basa sa Ingles lang, no? Oo. Next, please. Ito pa po. Next, please. Ay, ah. yeah. <laughs> Noel P. Tuazon. Ayan. Noel P. Tuazon. Sobrang... Okay, time's up. Sorry. Okay, last na. Noel P. Tuazon. Ni-research ko sino siya. Nagsusulat siya sa wikang sa lokal, sa Bisaya. Na ah, siya lang ang so, yan lang ang sagot na local language. Very good. At least merong one out of 100 na responded, no? And Bo Sanchez, ano ba kayo? Mga bata ni Baba sa Bo Sanchez, kailangan nila ng guidance. <laughs> My god, para yung maman. Putek, no? Okay, Manix Abrera. Tingnan nyo, Mindanao, Mindanao. Pen Medina, hindi ko yung kalala. <laughs> Sobrang funny nito. So, sino si Pen Medina yung artista, yung rapist? Di ba hindi? Alam, sino to? May premyo. Okay, sino siya? Sino nga? Paul Medina. Oh, si Ma'am Kelly. Nanalo si Ma'am Kelly. Ma'am, nanalo ka. This is Paul Medina. Confused yung bata. Kala niya yung rapist, right? Ano, writer. Okay. Carl De Mesa. 
from uh, Carl De Mesa is a CNF writer and a fictionist also. So yung work niya, Pampanga. Uh, ayun, sumagot sa kanya, Pampanga. English. Next, please. Titignan na ako masama. Konti na lang. So, anong findings ko? Iba-ibang genre yung mga author sa Filipino na sinagot nila. Tapos, Ingles at Filipino yung wika, except for the Noel P. Tuazon, which is, I think, in Visaya. Tapos, mostly, the books that they, that, uh, the authors of these books come from mainstream publishers. So, madaling mabili ng bata. Tapos, depende sa Luz, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, ang wika genre ng akda. Na, di ba, kita nyo? Pagka Filipino, sa Mega Manila, Bulacan, Norte, ganyan, Luzon. Pagka Ingles, yun, ano, Visayas, no? At, may fans pa rin si Bob Ong sa mga bata ngayon, no? Hindi, hindi siya nag-fade. Next, please. Bilisan natin. Okay, ito yung mga foreign authors. Ayan. Hindi ko na babasahin. Napagod na ako. Next, please. Okay. Ano ang napansin ko sa mga sagot nila? They are text-heavy books. Puro text to na lang, no? Bihirang-bihirang may drawing. They are fiction. Anong genre? Pabalik nga. Pabalik po. Ito po yung genre. Ay, hindi ko alam. Uh, John Steinbeck, ano yung classic? George R. R. Martin, ano to? Fantasy? Spectic? Okay, Stephen King, of course, horror, okay. Mackenzie Lee, hindi ko siya kailangan, sorry. Um, porn? Hindi, <laughs> joke. Hindi ko alam, sorry. Mindanao pa naman, no? William Golding. Lord of the Flies. Thank you, sir. I'm so sorry. Okay, Louisa Char, sino yan? Young Adult, Toni Morrison. Classic, Mitch Album, ito, inspirational. Oo. So, with, with Criswell, Criswell, ito, hindi ko alam. Kira Cass is uh, parang uh, fantasy, hindi ba romance? Hindi, YA. Dan Brown, ito ba yung mga ano, yung mga Diyos Diyos? Illuminati, mga ganun. Sexual? Uh, general fiction. Nicholas Park, Love Love. J John Wilde, niya. Hindi natin kilala. Money. <laughs> Next, please. Okay. So, yun ang mga genre. By age, papakita ko sana sa inyo, ngunit wag na. Kasi, ginupo ko. 30. Para lang sa NBDB. Kasi gusto ko silang talunin eh. Sa readership survey nila. So, ang ginawa ko, ginupo ko 13 years old, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, ginupo ko po. Kung gusto nyo po ng kopya, I can give the entire, ano, no, yung answer sheet ng mga bata. Lahat yung bibigay ko po sa inyo. So, ang findings ko doon sa by age, ito po. So, mostly, ang sagot nila pro sa fiction. Fiction, no? Tulu yan. In short, tulu yan po. Next, ang genre, mostly fantasy and romance. Kasama na dito yung spectic, etc., etc. At hindi nawawala sa lahat ng age level, Wattpad. 13 to 19. Hindi rin nawawala ang manga. 13 to 19, no? I think nawala lang isang beses. 16 years old, mga ganyan. Walang sumagot ng 16 years old na manga. Tapos, may mga sumagot din na reading sa books na class or school requirement. Like, sabi na, computer, IT, uh, engineering book, ganun. Yun sa sagot nila. And they read what? Printed books and digital books. And, and online, they read online works. May progress sa mga uri na babasahin habang tumatanda sila. pa complicate complicated na yung kanila mga binabasa pakapal ng pakapal yung book kasi yung 13 years old may sumagot pa dark diaries <laughs> Ganyan, no? hindi na natin siya nakita hindi na siya nag-appear sa baba thank you lord kasi every age group may sumasagot ng Filipina na at least one okay pero hindi hindi maganda masyadong balita to dapat we should work harder next please okay ang findings ko at ito ay nakabahala Halos lahat ay drum roll please. Okay, next. Halos lahat ay foreign English works ang sagot po nila. No? So ipapakibibigay ko po sa inyo 'yan yung mga sagot nila. Yan yung nakakalungkot. Next please. So, ang tanong po na nais kong iwan sa inyo. Next please. Okay. Next. Dapat po bang tanggalin ang Filipino at panitikan sa kolehiyo. Ngayon, 
na hindi pa natin, di ba? Itong 13 to 19 years old na ito, hindi pa tinatanggal sa kolehiyo yung Pilipino at panitikan. Pero ito na yung sagot nila. So, pag tinanggal pa natin, what more? Okay? Thank you very much. Parang kailangan na bigyan ng premyo si Miss Bebang, no? Grabe! Isa pa ang palakpak ulit. Napakaganda nung survey na pinakita kasi we started with life. She's 19 years old and it it's like a full circle, di ba? Circle of life. Sarot. <laughs> and and ngayon, maganda to kasi uh, sabi nga ni Honey, we will let you do our work. So anybody who wants to share their favorite takeaway from this panel, nobody, nobody learned anything. Any volunteer to share their favorite like um, takeaway from this, any lesson that you will take with you when you step out of this room. Sir, thank you. Sige po. <laughs> Ano po? Ang galing! Okay, abangan po namin yan next year po ah, sa PILF next year. Thank you. Bibigyan... Opo, bi mukhang mahilig po kayong magkape. Bigyan ko po kayo. Claim po ninyo. Meron pa bang gustong magbigay ng kanilang... <laughs> Sino po pong gusto mag-share? Kayo po. A hashtag no excuses. Ayun po. Uh, you also get a mug. <laughs> Or gusto niyo po unan para makatulog. Ito ang aming bookbed baby. Ang uh, May partner kaming mananahin nito sa Davo kasi doon ako base. So meron, binabenta namin to. Ito ay prototype. Pero ibibigay ko po sa inyo. Uh, may nag-benefit na family ng mananahi. Ano po? <laughs> Magpo-photo up muna kami kasi in demand po si Miss Honey. Ayun, um, bilisan natin, meron pa. Meron pang gusto mag-share. Thank po. you, Miss Honey, sa mga regalo. Opo, sa thank you po. See you po, mamaya. Kayo po, sir. Nino. Ay, gusto niya mag-mic. Sige po. Nino, sige po. <laughs> Yun, amen. Yun po yung ating kailangan supportahan. Pwede po. Ayun, kailangan pa natin ng meron pa tayong ipapamigay na tatlo. Ay, dalawa ng kamay si ano, si Marjorie. Go Marjorie, alam mo Marjorie. Marjorie. Kanina, kanina pa kita nakikita ng gusto mo magtas ng kamay. Ano ko sa inyo? Ah, Okay, okay. Okay na 'yon, halika na. <laughs> Nobody's like, "Oh, thank you sa akin 'yon." Okay, bibigyan kita ng mug. Ayun, one last, eto talaga grand prize. <laughs> Lahat na to kasama si, papakilala ko lang si Bibi Monkey dahil nandito na nga lang din ako. Eto si Bibi Monkey, sa bookbed siya, homegrown namin na uh, leading monkey. So if you check yung, may pangalan naman siya sa likod, pwede nyo siyang i-follow. So yung mananahe din namin yan, yung family ng mananahe, they also benefit from the kung kukunting earnings ng aming book club. So anyone who wants to do our work for us and synthesize the whole pan, <laughs> the whole session, kayo po, lalaban, going once, going. Okay, palakpakan po natin si Char Charlie. Thank you po. Marami pong salamat. And I, I guess this is what we want you to 
take with you when you go out. You are a reader no matter what you read, as long as you read. And then you can always create something out of that. Just make sure that you're resourceful about it, you're kind about it, you respect diversity, and you also make use of your of what's available online. And also, yeah, no, tell tell your friends about this. Tell your friends about the book. So, dahil nasa social media tayo, mag-post tayong lahat, abangan ko ah, para mag-post kayo sa Twitter, sa Instagram, itag nyo ang NBDP, gamitin nyo yung hashtag nila, cause kahit papano, we can advocate for our, uh, for reading online and then translate it into action. Maraming maraming salamat po. Sana nag-enjoy po kayo. Kaya po, kunin po dito.